I'm going to build in less than 24 hours a geometry dash copy. Let's go! For this, we are going to need some assets. And, because I don't really know what I'm doing, we are going to use the internet. To develop the game, we are going to use Pygame, mainly because I like Python, and I don't feel like learning Unity today. And for the game display, we are going to use a 720 resolution, just to keep things simple. Remember, we only have 24 hours, and I don't want to deal with scalability. We are going to use the Miami Sense Asset Pack created by Ann Smith to create the environment. You will have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Look at that, we can pay here, or maybe not, I don't have any budget yet. Here you can see the images that we are going to use. We have edited the highway to remove the sign. This is because we intend to loop horizontally through these images and having a recurring sign would be weird. So, let's get coding. With every project I'll try to get a small example working. Here we can create the game window with Pygame. And we'll also paint the background red to test things out. Next, we are going to load the background images that we have shown previously. Around this time, we reached 4 hours into the project. It probably shouldn't take this long, but things were taking quite a bit, and I started worrying about the final game result. To create the background, we just have to print and scale the last image until it fills the whole screen. Then, we add the trees, which we cannot scale. So, we print the same image side by side until we fill the screen. Finally, we just have to print the highway on top, and then our background is finished. And since you asked, I will use this section to remember you that only a 0% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So, if you end up liking the video, don't forget to consider subscribing. At this point, I have been working for 6 hours non-stop. And with my eyes begging for help, I decided it was time to take the first break and eat some food. When I got back, only 16 hours were left, and a lot of work remained. So, I pressed head on, trying to create the game horizontal motion to advance through the level. That, I used the background image that I showed before. Then, I compose a bigger image, pasting a copy at the end multiple times. This gives us a very large image which we can move through the screen to give the impression that our player is moving forward horizontally. So, every game needs a player, and this one is no exception. So I open LibreSprite and use all my artistic abilities to develop this masterpiece. I'm waiting for your comments. I actually think that it looks pretty professional, but I want to hear what you think. After drawing the player, we need to load it into the game and start adding the basic gameplay functionalities. So. After fixing this little bug where the player kept moving right, we can begin working on the jump. The jump is pretty simple. We leave the ground with some speed and as we go up we lose it. Then, for some reason, we have to fall. I know, it's boring. But since we have to do it, we're going to apply an acceleration until we reach the maximum speed. And that's it for the jump. If you are familiar with Geometry Dash, the game that inspired this video, you will know that there are mainly two types of blocks. Spikes, which are blocks that if you touch in any way, you die, and normal blocks, which you can jump onto, but if you hit horizontally, you die as well. So yeah, we are going to copy that for our gameplay, but don't worry, there will be no spaceships or hedgehog type ball that sticks to the ceiling or any of that. At this point, we only have 10 hours remaining, and I'm starting to lose my mind. And, as good programmers know, you should always design your code with the next 2 years in mind, and always following patterns. And, as you may be realizing by now, I'm the best programmer. 
So that's why I follow the position hard coding pattern to create the game lab. An hour went by and our base game was done with his unique level and some background music. So with the little time that I had left, because I wanted to go to sleep, I decided we should add a pause and main menu and call it a day. For the pause menu, we opened our good old friend Libre Sprite, where I went on to draw the only button that we are going to have. Then, we just have to print the button over the screen when we hit the pause menu, and handle the input differently. And that would be it for the pause menu. For the main menu, we need something more artistic, which I'm obviously not capable of creating. So, I queried some free online stable diffusion model, and here's the first image I got. Because yeah, I really wanted to go to bed. Then, I remembered, we actually need a name for the game. So, as creative as I am, I went with the name... Shape Dish? Yeah, Shape Dish. That definitely doesn't sound familiar. So, once again, back into Libra Sprite. To add the game name to the main menu image. And so, after 18 hours working with a little two hour break, our game is finally complete. And here is the result.